Hi, let's talk about rotate digits. So this question definition is not readable. I'm going to summarize it. So uh, integer x is a good number if uh, if a digit is rotated by itself. So what are the digits? Uh, what what are the digits can rotate? So zero to rot uh, zero rotate zero one rotate one eight rotate eight and 2 and 5 rotate vice versa so 2 will rotate to 5 5 will rotate to 2 and then 6 and 9 will rotate to each other so 6 rotate to 9 9 rotate to 6 and others than that do not rotate so this question is pretty straightforward if you know dp so i can actually um just memorize it if the uh, digit is rotate for this current integer if that is true, then I assign to a number. If not, I just don't care about it. So let's just start uh, start coding. So I'm going to use dp. So how many space do I need? I need a plus one. This is because uh, you need to include in index zero. And I'm going to uh, just go into average. So I start from, you technically start from one, right? So uh one and then i less than equal to n i plus plus and then i'm going to I, I have to i have to store what are the good integers right so i'm going to say in good nums number equal to zero so if the number is good i'm going to increment okay so um if the uh, integer if current i is less than 10 and else i do another thing so if the i is less than 10, right, it's going to be 0, 2, 9. And I mean, you can start from 0, it doesn't matter, because uh, 0 can rotate to 0 itself. But the good number is between 1 to, uh, 1 to, uh, 1 to n, right? So if i is equal to 0, and then or i equal to 1, or i equal to 8 right i need to assign i need to assign to uh, a value which is represent uh, rotate right so dpi equal to 1 i'm going to assign to 1 and since we need the index 0 for the dp right so i'm going to start from 0 just in case and if not if not one a uh, zero one eight right i need to think about it. what should i consider two five six and nine right else if i equal to two i equal to five i equal to six i equal to nine so i don't have to think about it like if two is rotated to five or five is rotated to two or six rotated to 9 or 9 rotated to 6. It doesn't matter. I just have to assign this digit is rotated. Okay. So dpi equal to 2. So when dpi equal to 2, it means rotate. Okay. And then I also need to count this digit is a good number. So good numbers plus plus. So what are the uh what what are the else case for this? So I need to split, right? I need to split to um an integer like the tenth digit and one digit right so int a equal to uh dpi divided by 10 and also b equal to dpi mod 10 right so because i already have a base case when i is less than 10 so i can actually know it's dp uh, i divided by 10 and dpi mod 10 is a good number or not right if they are rotated or not so uh there are two situations when dp equal to 1 and when dp equal to 2 right so if dp if both if a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 which which is this case right this is not count as good number by the way because you rotate by yourself right so I'm going to assign to dp at i equal to 1. So what are the, what, what are the spatial case? So if dp i, uh, wait, dp i equal to 1, right? So if a, if a equal to 1, b equal to 2, 
they count as good number by the way because um this all a good number right two five six nine all a good number and you need to make sure that uh both definitely greater than one and then one could be one the other one could be two or vice versa uh, one could be two first and the other one could be one so i'm, I'm going to say a let, uh, greater equal to one and b greater equal to one so uh this is the else case so dpi equal to two and a good number plus plus okay so if you have a equal to one b equal to one right you already um access this if statement first so you won't access this one so if a equal to one b equal to two right uh you will jump into this is statement and then i will just return the number and this was pretty much it so this seems pretty hard to read this is because the question is kind of stupid but um they just start running and this is dp instead so yeah and here we go so what are the time and space complexity so if you know the space is definitely all of n right and time is all of all of n as well like they are all of n this is because we need the n space to actually go through right and if you feel helpful subscribe like if you want it and then i'll see you next time bye